All right, this is a quick analysis of PEEPS novice standard run in the UK. I trial from Sunday. I thought this might help some people um, understand better using motion for um, your handling system. You can't see my start line because um, the video started too late, but we get to see him jumping the first jump. But notice my position. I am... Um, past the first wingless or the second wingless jump and traveling towards the teeter and I don't stop I'm looking towards the teeter my head shoulders everything going towards the teeter so he has no doubt when he lands that it's the teeter not the a-frame We'll watch that in real motion. So I'm just moving. And I think I was proofing his contacts a little bit, which is good because he is a puppy. I like how I am able to move past, even though I'm not in a full run, but I don't come to a complete stop and he still held his contact. I would prefer him to be coming straight off the board. He's off at an angle, but it's a work in progress. And I do release him on my voice, hopefully, although there we see me moving. Let's watch it in real time. No, you can't hear me. Okay, so we go through this line. He's reading this as converging, probably because I have my hand up, which probably wasn't helping him. Although, which lead leg is he on? He's on his left lead leg. His left leg is ahead right there. So he should land and jump to the left, but he definitely lands and thinks I'm rear crossing him. That's okay. My baby puppy. Alright, so he's just a puppy. He doesn't know what he's doing. So we sit him. We do our dog walk, which I think was like, sweet, we're doing running contacts, which we used to do, but we are not doing anymore. <laughs> So my reaction was, we'll watch it in real time. Listen to my reaction. So then I put him back, although I think I could have been better with my timing. And I place him back on. So I always want to place my dogs back on if I can train in the ring in UKR, which I can, or in training. I don't allow them to fix themselves. So I put him back on. And let him hold it. Good boy. I'm moving the whole time as I release him. It's going to be harder to see from the angle here, but when he comes out of the tunnel, I'm ahead. So he has information now about where we're going, which is the wingless. I send him here. So I'm sending him, but I am traveling, cutting right past the teeter, because I have to get to where I need to go next. This dog is fast. So he's able to land and understand that we're turning to the left, take the wingless. And then I cross, which I have to get faster because I'm behind my dog half the time, it seems like. But I do start to turn before he's taken off, so that's good. Still trying to get out of his way. Sorry, pee-pee. Mommy's slow. But I'm still ahead of my dog. And he does his awesome contact. We'll watch this in real time too. Notice I kept moving the whole time, which is really good for two on, two off. Here's real time. I go back and pet him because we're training now, so he knows that's a reward. And you can hear me. I'll shut up so you can hear me. Uh, release him while I'm moving. So that's one of the mistakes people make with their two on, two offs is they come to a stop and release their dog. Um as they start to move and so the dog isn't sure is the release the moving or the word so you have to make sure you proof that so I'll be quiet so you can hear it you can hear my okay then since I'm training I do a rear cross there in the wheeze so I instantly go into training mode because it's an NQ so he jumps oh that bar I think was knocked was that bar knocked down? yeah it must have been and um, it's hard to see here, but I'm at least moving forward as he loads, and I think I actually had to go around the weeds, which that's a really hard cross, like super hard. But even as he's entering the weeds, I'm able to run and catch up 
And as he exits, I'm almost caught up to him and past him. Last jump. Hoot. Good baby. I love him.